All right, all right, Ben. Salute to Josh Warrington who came in here and put on a spectacular, dominant performance against Kiko Martinez in their rematch to where the first fight he wins by majority decision. This one, he comes in to stop Kiko in the seventh round. I mean, he just came out the gate blazing in this fucking fight. First round, dominant. Came out here aggressive, pressure style fighting, and Martinez just seemed to never be able to get into that gear to be able to, you know, shift along with him in this fight. And it was like he was stuck in first. Kiko was already in sixth gear. Dro I mean, not Kiko. Sorry about that. Kiko was stuck in first. Warrington was shifted already in sixth gear, unloading on him, dropping him in that first round, opened up multiple cuts, came on that second round. Same thing you see in the first round. Pressure, 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 working him. Third, fourth round. Think he changed it up a little bit. Third round is where I gave Martinez the round just because Warrington began to kind of like step up on the back foot, more backing up in this in the third round and and also in the fourth and fifth round. But he was working accurately. He was able to avoid shots from Martinez. Martinez was very ineffective. He didn't really land too much of anything, couldn't get connected with anything. But he did start moving forward as Warrington started to allow him to come forward as he walked back. But as he moved forward, Warrington seen everything that was strong. Warrington was anticipating punches, ducking up under him, coming in with counters when he decided to throw him and avoid a lot of stuff. And you seen who was getting the workings put on him. And that happened to be Kiko Martinez. And it's unfortunate that he gains the, that uh, Kiko Martinez gains the title. He goes to defend it and loses it. And that's the toughness within the sport of boxing. But we'll see where Josh Warrington goes for. Does he avenge his loss to uh, Mauricio Laura? Uh, does he fight Navarati? I heard the name of Navarati opened up in this uh, post fight and we'll see what we get. But all in all, man, salute to Josh Warrington coming out there in this spectacular performance. And I want to hear what Kiko Martinez says for this camp. To me, it looks like he bulked up and looking at him inside the fight or did he rehydrate a little bit too much? He looked kind of, you know, he looked very, very uh, uh, puffed up as if he I don't know if he was doing a lot of weight training going in this fight. But he looked a little bit too overcompacted muscularly. And it just seemed that he couldn't move or could age have been a factor. Or could it just be Josh Warrington was that well conditioned and ready for this fucking fight. And I think it's the latter. But that's all I got. Peace.